Yes. Sure. Then I go. Bye. What do you want? A chair? Oh. And what is it? Why not? I accept. Are you sure? That was fun. Ah, I am not afraid of him at all. Who are you? What? Oh. Is it that? Then only Foxy could take it. He always wants to steal my things. And don't steal my hat again. Again. What is it this time? What? <coughs> I have to do this. Show me. It can't be so bad. I was wrong. It's pretty bad. I'm going to tell everyone you're dead. I hope it won't be so bad. Warning. Only 5% energy left. Shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. What happened? Yes, Yes, he is in the backstage. You are welcome. Fun, why are you here? Did I get another chair?
have to admit something. I have always had feeling for her. But I didn't have the courage to tell her. I think you are right. I should talk with her. <laughs> Chica. Yes? There is something I would like to tell you. And what is that? Well, we know each other for a very long time. And I have always had feelings for you. You know I'm not a talkative bear. So I'm saying... I love you. Yes, it sounds so strange, but I can give it a try. Yes. So, what would you like to talk about? And what's that? Yes. Why? Really? Well. Okay. I'll do it, because I love Foxy. But Foxy chose Toy Chica. Hi. Hi. Why are you so close? Because... I would like to have fun with a strong and manly Pirate Fox. Foxy. What are you doing? Look, let me explain. No, you don't have to explain anything. However, prepare yourself, bitch. <laughs> Want to repair your boys, girls? Did you learn something today? Yes. This trouble weren't worth for him, true. What? Ah, uh, you got wrecked, mate. Hi guys, do you know where Bonnie is? Yes, he is on the toilet. Okay, thanks. Hey Bonnie. Can I talk with you? Yes. What do you want? I'll tell you fast. 
You got a dare, and you have to kiss Mangle. Well, I think she is cute. I love her, since we met, but... I don't know whether she loves me. Don't worry. Just tell her your feelings. Do you think it's gonna work? Hey Mangle. Hi Bonnie. What's up? There is something I would like to tell you. Since you and the toys moved here, I've had a very special feeling for you. I've always found you really nice and cute. Mangle. You are the sunshine in my life. You bring light in the darkest hours for me. And I love you. Dare is, I dare everyone to put every pizza while Shaq is in the bathroom. Hello guys. Here's some pizza, because we are gonna party tonight. But now I have to go to the toilet, so can you please take care of them? Hey honey listen. Tell me what's up. Are you hungry? Pizza. Invite the others. Let's party. Yes. Look, what have you done? Let me explain. No, you don't have to explain anything. Just go and wake the guys up. They will be so angry for this. Let's do it. What? I did it. So, what could you do for this trouble? What should we do? I wish I had this supernatural power too. We could help you in cooking in the next two weeks. Well, not a bad idea. We'll meet each other tomorrow in the kitchen. Bye bye guys. Freddy, it was such a bad idea. Sorry my friend. Again. Hi guys. What's up? Not much. With you? Same. Hey Bonnie, yes, can I talk with Foxy in private? Of course. So, what do you want? Today, you got your third dare. Oh great. What is my dare? You have to kiss Toy Chica. That's a really great dare. Well, do you have any ideas how to reach your goal? Yes, plushies. Everyone loves them here. Well, good luck then. Thank you. Let's find that plushie.
Yes. Finally. Hey, Toy Chica. Hey, Foxy. There is something I would like to give to you. What is it? Thank you, Foxy. There is another thing I want to give to you. And it is? My love. Look. They are cute. What? Hi, Freddy. Hi. I want to talk with you. One minute. I'll finish this first. So, what do you want? Well, you got to dare. First, you have to go on a romantic dare with Chica. And I think this is the easier. For second, you have to marry her. Well, people can't force me to do something like that. But you love Chica, right? Of course I love her. Then why don't you want to marry her? Don't you want this? No, of course I want to marry her. But I don't know whether this is a good time or not. You and Chica are a couple for quite a long time, right? Yes. Then ask her. If she loves you, she won't refuse it. You are right. I asked her on that dinner. How much time till we get there? I think we are nearly there. Look. This is really nice. Yes, Drake worked a lot with it. And he did a great job. So, what do you think, my dear? This was all beautiful and magical. Thank you, Freddy. I'm glad you liked it. Chica. There is something I want to ask from you. You know, we are in love for quite a long time. And our feelings are even warm with every day that we spend with each other. So my question is... Will you marry me, Chica? Yes. Hi Freddy. What was last night? Everything went well? Very well. We are married. Glad to hear that. You helped me a lot, and I really appreciate your efforts. Thank you. But there is one more thing that I want to ask from you. What's that? Can you help me in my wedding party? I already asked Bonnie and Foxy, and they said yes. Yes, of course. Does anybody know any reason why this couple can't get married? Chick of the chicken, would you like Freddy Sandier as your husband? Yes I want. 
Freddy said, dear, would you like kick as your wife? Yes, I want. You can kiss each other. Hello. It's the tenth part of the Dare series. The Dare is, I dare Bonnie and others to touch Freddy's nose. Hello, Bonnie. Hi, my friend. Look, have you heard about this accident? No. But can I ask you something? Of course. Could you gather everyone here except Freddy? All of you got a dare. Yeah, I will gather them here. But what is the dare? All of you have to touch Freddy's nose. Really? He will kill us for this? Yes, I know. See you soon. Bye. So, here we are. Great. Where is Freddy? I saw him going to the toilet. Perfect. I'm gonna give him a beer. But it's not a regular beer. I put sleeping pill into it. So when he starts sleeping, you're gonna touch his nose. Okay. We'll wait in the backstage. Hello, Freddy. What's up? Nothing. I knew you'll say it. Never mind. Could you taste this beer for me? I'm afraid it's expired. Well... Okay. No, it isn't expired. It tastes really cool. Thanks, my friend. I knew I can count on you. When will he fall asleep? I don't know. Why do I feel so tired? Maybe we can go now. Hi guys, it's the 12th part of the D.A.R.E. series. The D.A.R.E. is, I dare Lonnie to hang out with Mangle. Hello Mangle. Hi Bonnie. Can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Would you like to hang out with me this afternoon? Let me think. Yes, I'm free today. Great. See you at 3 p.m. So, where do you want to go? I don't really know. Just go for a walk, or to the playground, maybe. Okay Bonnie, let's go. So, where are we? This place is a very determinative place in my life. My father worked here for years, and he always brought me here. I really enjoyed those times. But a few years ago, he died. So we tried to sell this place to someone. Nobody wanted it. Now it's a deserted place. But I usually come back here to recall the old days. Oh Bonnie, your father really died? I didn't know it. My condolences. Thank you Mangle. Let me see this whole place. Come. So we walked around this whole place, right? As you say. Can we sit down a bit? My legs are hurting. Of course, just follow me. Did you like this jaunt? Yes. Everything is amazing with you. I love you. Let's see today's dare. Really? Well, I think I can make the guys to do this. But I will need a plan. Maybe, if they are a little drunk, it will be easier. I think I'll make a party tonight. Let's invite the guys.
Yes, it was. Well, yes, it was really interesting, but I think it was good. I'd never done that before. Wow. Sounds interesting. Well, it's a strange game. I don't remember the name. The rule is, everyone goes blindfolded, and then a person sets people in front of each other. Then they start kissing. Well, not dead. We should try it. Well, if you want. Start for three. One, two, three. Did I kiss last night? Well, Golden Freddy and Tommy. Oh, are you back for another dare? Okay, let's see it. It's not that bad. But I have to ask Golden Freddy where they are. Let's find them. Again? I think I should go. I haven't heard about it yet. Interesting. Yeah, I just heard it a couple of minutes ago. Hey guys. Have you seen Golden Freddy? No. No. But maybe he is at the generator. Recently, he is always there. Thanks for the help. I wonder what Golden Freddy is doing down here. My plan is almost done. However, I need someone else to finish it. Hey Golden Freddy. Can you help me? I have to find the nightmares, and I heard you know where they are right now. Sure. With one condition. What's that? You owe me one for this. Fine. Then, let's go. Trick. What happened? You fainted after we arrived. Great. My head hurts a bit. Don't worry, it will be soon. However, come with me. I already found the nightmares. And we would really appreciate if you could come to our pizzeria. Sure, why not? Great. Come, whenever you want. Yeah, I really don't know 
What do you think about them? I think they are kind. Maybe I should invite them to live here. But, will the others accept them? Welcome everyone to the 15th part of the D.A.R.E. series. The D.A.R.E. is, I dare mangle to buy a new guitar for Lonnie. Hi Bonnie. What are you doing here? Hi Mangle. Maybe you know, my guitar is broken. We were playing with Freddy yesterday, and the guitar fell off from my hand. Are you ready, Bonnie? Yes, I am. How could I help you, Bonnie? You don't have to help, Mangle. I will be okay in a few days. However, thank you for your intention. Okay, Bonnie. Hope you'll be better tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Mangle. Oh my god. Tomorrow is Bonnie's birthday. I must buy him something. But what? What's up, Mangle? Nothing. I just don't know what to buy for Bonnie's birthday. Oh, I feel so bad for him when he was playing on the guitar. It was good to listen to his play, and now his favorite thing is broken. Poor Bonnie! Yes, maybe I should buy a new guitar for him. Well, not a bad idea. There's a quite good and cheap shop in the other street. You should go there. Thanks, Freddy. I will definitely check it. I hope he'll like the new guitar. Hello Bonnie, I brought you something. Hi Mangle. What is it? Open this box Bonnie. Oh Mangle. You are so... awesome. You can play again with Freddy every day. Come here Mangle. Oh, uh, what did you want to ask from me? Well, there is one thing I want to tell you. I already asked the others what they think about my idea, and they said they were okay with it. So the idea is, would you like to live with us in this place? Well, this was an unexpected question, but if you really don't mind it, we will accept your offer and live with you. I hope you will get on well. I hope too. Welcome and make yourself at home. Hey, Freddy. Hi, Freddy. What are you doing? I'm looking for the next bear. Have you found it yet? Yes. And you got it? Bonnie. And what is it? Sorry, but it isn't your business. Hey, Bonnie. Can I talk with you? Sure. Come sit down here. So, you got a dare. It's quite special. It's a bit strange to ask something like this one. The dare is that you have to marry Mangle. Well I knew that one day I'll get this one. I'm just a little bit surprised. But I'm ready for it. We are in love for a long time. So I think it's time to do this. You know, I can help you, if you want. I can set up the same program, as I did for Freddy. Thanks, but you don't have to. However, I want to take her to the same place, if it isn't a problem. Of course not. There are so many stars on the sky today. Yeah. Come on, Bonnie. Ask it now, or never. Mangle, can I ask you something? What is it? You know, we love each other for a very long time. And our love become more and more passionate with every day. It reached a level that it has to be celebrated with a very special gift that I give you right now. Mangle, will you marry me? Yes.
Hey, Foxy. Yes? What do you think about that new night gourd? Don't know. It's boring that we have to kill another human again. Kill him fast, and then we can party every night. But who wants to do it? Toy, Toy Chica. Chica. Lots of boys. Have you ever scared a night gourd in this pizzeria? No, why? Because no one wants to kill the new one. So what do you want from me? Your money and your jewelry. Shut up, Foxy. It was a freaking bad joke. Sorry, Toy Chica. We want you to kill the night gourd. Are you in? Yes, of course. I will do it this night. Thanks. Poor night gourd. The death is coming so soon. Oh my god. This dare is crazy. However it has to be done. Let's start this. Today I got my package. You wonder what this thing is? Let's just say, it will increase the chance, that something happened tonight. First part done. Now let's talk with Freddy. So, what's up with you and Chicken nowadays? Is everything good? Yes, we are really happy with each other. Glad to hear that. To be honest, it's really good to be with her, but we don't really have time to go out anywhere. I wish we could, but we have to do many things here. Oh, why did not say it before? I know a really good place, if you want some privacy. And don't worry about your works, we can survive one day without you and Chica. Are you sure? Of course. My plan is going well. They'll come to here and have a night here. And you remember the pills, right? I put some into their drink, so let's hope it'll work. Finally we are here. Where's Chica? Chica, where are you? Are you up here? Chica. Hey Freddy. Are you up for something? Dirty? Oh. Chica. Oh. Chica. There's something I have to tell you guys. We all know what happened last night. And there is a great chance that Chica is pregnant. So you wonder how it will happen, and when she'll give birth, etc. That's why I'm here. We know that Chica is a chicken, and Freddy is a bear. In normal case, they could not have a child. However, because they're animatronics, they can have as many child as they want. And now about the children. Because Chica is a chicken, she'll produce eggs. It won't take so long, one or two days. After she laid down the eggs, the baby will start growing inside. The eggs will be hatched in seven days. After that they'll start their life in the outer world. I think that's everything you have to know about these things. I'm so sick. Chica, is everything okay? Not really. 
I'm very sick. What kind of sickness? Pain mostly, and nausea. Oh no. I think she is going to give birth right now. I need help. Freddy, come and help me immediately. The eggs will be hatched in any minute. I'm so excited. Me too. Look. <laughs> they are very cute. I have a strange feeling, but I don't know what it is. Never mind. Let's focus on the dare. So guys, today you two got a dare. What is it? Don't worry, it's not a big deal. Today you have to kill the night board. Like you do always. Wow. Finally a good dare. I'm glad you like it. Now, if you don't mind we will go and prepare for the night. Okay. Now please go. I follow you, but I have to take somebody else to you. Golden Freddy. What are you two doing? Find out soon. You still owe me for finding the nightmares. Oh, I remember. Then, are you ready to come with me? Yes. Then, let's go. Finally, I got back my power. Thanks to you, my old friend. And you too, Nightmare Freddy. But who are you? He is a freak. He is kinda responsible. I see. But I have a very important question. Will you help our work and join to us, or not? Oh. What should I- so, what's your answer? <sighs> no. I refuse to help you. I won't let my friends down. Even if it means I have to die for my friends. Alright. It's your decision. It would be advantageous to kill you right now. However, I won't kill you. You can go for now without harm. But don't think you will live much longer than your friends. Golden Freddy, take him back to the pizzeria. And Freak, do not even try to tell anyone about this. Don't forget, Golden Freddy is watching you. So you'll watch my steps, right? Yes. However, I have to do something. I'll be back in one minute. Don't do anything stupid. I'll need a plan. Springtrap is too strong. We need more allies.
they're so cute when they are sleeping. Hey guys. What's up? Not much. We were with the babies all day. They are cute. By the way, did you choose a name for them? Yes. We thought a lot about it. And we decided to give our own names to them. I think it was a good choice. Okay. I think it was a good choice too. Now, if you excuse me, I have to do something very important. Wait. Bonnie told me something about a new place, like this pizzeria. I hope there is somebody there, who can help us. I have to find Bonnie. Hey Bonnie. You told me something about a new place a few days ago. Can you show me, where it is? Yes, of course. So I talked with them. They were really kind with us. First I told them the situation. That Springtrap is getting strong and we need help. After that I asked them for help. They said they will help, if we'll know each other better. So I invited them for a dinner. I hope we'll get along. Wait, wait, wait. I completed the dare, but let me with kissing boys from now. Let's see how it worked. So Freddy. Can you do me a favor? What would it be? I'm not sure you'll like it. Just tell it to me. You know I'm the bravest bear in the world. And the most egoist, never mind. So are you ready? Yeah. So you have to kiss Golden Freddy. You know. I brave and everything, but... I pay you 100 bucks. Is that real money? No, but you it's a sheet of handkerchief. Okay. If it's real, I'm definitely in. Just one more thing. While you are kissing him, I will record it, okay? Bonnie, you are such a garbage. So when will you do it? Right now. Get the camera and prepare for the payment, my friend. He is so quick and ugly. Just concentrate on the money. Nothing else. I can do it. Yes, I can. Hey Golden Freddy, what's up? Leave me alone Freddy. I just... wanted to. Oh man, let me kiss you. Think I have to throw up. So yeah, this is how it happened. Oh yes, the dare. These dares. So you wish to challenge my skills? Bad idea. Don't forget, Chica and Freddy have kids too. Despite the fact that they didn't even eat from that pizza. Never mind. This time it'll be successful. Luckily the sister location guys are coming tonight. Golden Freddy. Damn. I forgot to tell him. Well, I have to tell it, right? So, I invited the sister location animatronics. I heard that a new pizzeria was built in the town with new animatronics. I wanted to be nice, so I invited them for a dinner. Oh, I see. So you just invited them because you wanted to be nice? Yes. Why are you lying to me, Trick? Don't do stupid things. I gave you this advice a few days ago. You are a good person who I don't want to lose. You know I have to report everything to Spreacher, right? Maybe. This can be our little secret. I like to him. Just promise you won't do this again, please.
Why is he worrying about me so much? In the evening, our guests arrived. Well, almost every guest. They said Dolora couldn't come, because she had other plans for the night. Later, I showed the guys everything around here. After I showed the places, they wanted to meet up with the other guys. First the guys were quite shy with our guests, but later they had a very great time with each other. However I didn't forget my quest. I've waited for the perfect moment. I knew Bonnie and Mango liked the same pizza, so I could put my pills on it. Luckily nobody noticed anything. Now, we just have to wait and hope. After the dinner, Bonnie and Foxy brought in a lot of drinks. Alcoholic ones, of course. But nobody was bothered by the sight of these drinks. And the party has started. The party was quite fine. Our guests were really in the party room too. Of course, Golden Freddy was watching my steps, but it didn't bother me at all. However, I noticed someone who was quite shy and a little bit sad. So I decided to ask him what was going on. Hey, what's up? Is everything okay? No, not really. What's the problem? I... I'm not that kind of party person like the others. Me neither. But you know this party was made to celebrate you and your friends arrival here. My friends were my co-workers. Are you afraid of them? No, I'm not. But I don't know them at all. And I don't even know what to talk about with them. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Come with me. I think there are some people who you will like. Fine. Luckily I was able to help Funtime Freddy. He found a few guys who could talk with. However I didn't forget the pizza. As I see, it worked fine. Oh, one more thing. I think I shouldn't drink that much in the future. At least there was somebody else who was as drunk as me. My head. What happened last night? Golden Freddy. I'm 
sorry. I was looking for Golden Freddy, but I couldn't find him. Golden Freddy, can we talk? I know you hate me now. No. But you wanted to kill me, but you didn't. Why? Because you are my only friend, or you are my only one. I hope you can forgive me one day. Everyone deserves a second chance. Thank you, Frick. Thank you. Bonnie, I have great news. What is that? I'm pregnant. Where are you going to? Hi Freddy, I saw Nightmare Freddy going out of the pizzeria with a bottle of Jack, and I think there's a problem. Oh, alright. Hi Nightmare Freddy, is everything okay? I don't know, I don't know anything. What's the problem? I think you won't understand. I'm just sad because everybody have got a girlfriend and I'm here alone. I don't have anybody. Man, I'm sure we can find you someone. Look, Nightmare Chica doesn't have a boyfriend. Yes, but I'm sure she wouldn't like me. Look at me. I look terrible. Don't say this, dude. We'll get her for you, I promise. Come back to the pizzeria. Hi, Nightmare Chica. How are you? Hi, Nightmare Freddy. I'm fine. What's the reason you want to talk with me? It's very complicated. But I have to tell you something. Alright. When I see you, I forget every burden on my shoulders. You are the source of happiness for me. You make my rainy day shine. I love you. This whole thing, it happened so fast, but I refused spin trip's order, so the consequences will be tough. You won't forgive. At least, Drake forgive me. Well, I don't know why he's so kind with me. I did. So much horrible things that others would not forgive. I wanted to kill him. But he forgive me. He is so nice with me. He understands me very well. But I don't know. Why? I got your dare guys. Right now, I'm looking for Toy Freddy, but I can't find him. Well, I was quite surprised when I first saw the dare. I have to admit that it may be impossible to do, because I can't force anybody to love someone. The previous three loves were a little bit easier. But right now I have to make someone to kiss another person who has the same gender. I don't have any problem with it, but maybe Toy Freddy won't like this. However I heard some rumors about him and stuffs. Well, we have to give a chance, right? Hey Toy Freddy, can we talk? So, I started to talk with Toy Freddy. 
Of course I didn't ask immediately if he loves Toy Bonnie or not. We just talked about some usual things. I brought some cold beers too, because I knew that Toy Freddy likes it and it will be easier to ask him such a personal question. After a lot of talk, I decided to ask him about the question. That's how you make it. Yeah. Okay. This is the perfect time. By the way, can I ask you something personal? Um, yeah, sure. So, do you have a crush on somebody? Oh. Um. This question surprised me a little bit. But, yes, I have a crush on somebody. But, it's quite strange. Why? Because this love is quite unique. I can't decide whether it is love or not. I don't know what the reactions would be for it. How long have you had this feeling? For a very long time. I see. Can I know the name of your crush? No. If you keep the name as a secret, I will go. You can trust me. The name is... Toy Bunny. What? Well, it looks like the rumors were true. He hides his feelings well. And I don't know why I have these feelings. He's a male, but I have feelings for him. I can't understand myself sometimes, because I find girls nice too, but I have a crush on a boy. I understand you. It's okay for me. I will support you any way I can. Thank you. You're really kind. You know, if you want I can help you to reach your goal. Really? Well, I'd be really glad if you could help me. First I told Toy Freddy the whole situation that he's in. Next I gave him advice to help him out. How he should approach Toy Bonnie, the topic of their talks, etc. I told him to be patient, because we want this relationship to be successful. I'd followed every step of his, so I could help him, whenever he needed. Many days passed. But finally, he reached what he had wanted. Um, Toy Bonnie, can you come with me to our pizzeria? I need your help in something. Of course. So, why are we here? Before we do anything, can you sit down please? I want to tell you something. Yeah. So Toy Bonnie, there is something I want to tell you for a really long time. Well, let's start from the beginning. You know, we are really good friends for a very long time. We help each other whenever we can. Sometimes I need your help and sometimes you need mine. I've never met any other person who I could trust for such a long time. And I hope we will be friends in the future too. However, I have to tell you that something has changed in me. I didn't know what it was, but now I know. From time to time, you started to be nicer to me and we started to hang out more. Meanwhile I was with you, my feelings changed. I don't know how you react on it, but I have to say it out loud, because I can't hold it anymore. I love you, boy honey. I hope you can accept me and my feelings. Oh. This came all of a sudden. I didn't know you had this kind of feelings for me. I think you are nice too. But... Erm... Um, I don't know what to say. Sorry, but I can't say anything. I need time. Hey. Can I sit down? Of course. What's wrong? Toy Freddy admitted his feelings to me. He did it finally. We girls know this for a very long time. It was quite obvious. Really? It's clear for me too now. But I don't know what to answer him. Do you like him the way he does? Well, I never thought about it. He's nice, but... 
we are both males. I think you should give him a chance. You'd be happy with him. And who cares he's a boy? If you both love each other, then other things are meaningless. Toy Freddy, can we talk? Yeah, one moment please. Am I sure? So, what's up? The thing we talked about a few days ago. I thought about it, and my answer is yes. I want to be with you. I think we should give it a try. Oh, really? Hey. You know. Is it okay with me? Hi, Golden Freddy. Hi, Angel Jesus Christ. What the hell? What's wrong? You are foxy. I'm afraid I don't understand you. Look at your head. What the hell? Give me a minute, I'll check my body in the toilet. So do you see it now? Yes, but what's up with Foxy? I don't know. Relax a little bit, I'm going to check him. I can't find Foxy anywhere. Hi, Foxy. Hi, but I'm Freddy. No way. Let me explain the situation. It looks like you've switched bodies with Bonnie and the same thing happened to Mango and Foxy. Are you totally drunk? Just look at your hands. What the fuck? Who did this? I have no idea. It could only be someone with some supernatural power, but it wasn't me. I'll go and find the others. I hope they will understand what's going on. Did Freddy tell you that things happen to nearly everyone? Yeah, I got them. By the way, I like Freddy's costume and I don't really want to get back my old one. Good for you. But I'm in a woman's body, so it's not that fun to... You know what I mean. I'll go and take a walk, maybe I can find something. So were these dolls in the toilet? As you say. And I think the person who made us switch bodies used these dolls. I've seen these dolls already. That puppet. As you said, it could be only someone with supernatural power. I think he is that someone. Maybe you're right. I'm sure he is at the generator, as always. I'll force him to give back your old costumes. What are you doing here? Why have you done this? I found this whole place so boring, so I made it a bit more interesting. Puppet, it's chaos. Switch back the bodies as soon as it's possible. Why would I do that? Better if you don't know. Nice joke. It wasn't a joke. Switch them back. Calm down, dude. I didn't want to create a chaos, as I said I just wanted to make our days more interesting. Sorry again, I switched them back in an hour. I hope so. And don't even try to do something crazy again. Jesus. This night was tough. Wait, it's my own hand. I'm sure Golden Freddy has talked to Puppet while we were having a party. Back to my old costume. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong with him?
Hey Freddy. Can we talk? Yeah. So, what's up? Today you've got a dare. Really? Yeah. The dare is you have to steal Chicka's cupcake. Okay. This dare isn't so bad. Have you got any ideas how to do it? Well, maybe. I'll keep Chicka busy while you steal the cupcake. Is this idea okay? Fine for me. Only a couple of days left. Are you ready for life? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing good. I know you want it to. The plan worked fine. While I was talking with Chica, Freddy tried to steal the cupcake from her. I have to say that Freddy's sneaking skills are quite bad. He almost got caught, but luckily Chica didn't notice him. However I don't know if this was a good idea. If she finds out what we did, we'll be in a big trouble. Where's my cupcake? I know what I've done. I thought I'd been fighting on the good side. But I have to realize what I've been doing is wrong. But I want to change. I want to help those who I was against and fight with those who I was supporting. It's over now, Springfield. We used to be allies. We used to be friends. But not anymore. You are not the person I knew. You changed. Now, I have to stop you. With my friends. With my real friends. So, what would you like to do with it? I don't know. Well, maybe I do. You should give it back to Chica. Before I do it. I think Chica wouldn't be so happy if she found out that her husband stole the cupcake. Oh, and you think you can prove it too? Look what I've got. My proof. Here it is. Okay, what do you want for your silence? Oh, this is the thing I wanted to hear. Okay, I hope you're happy now. Oh, of course I am. Okay. It's safe. We can come out now. What were these two doing? Are they love or what? Well, I've never seen two boys like this. Now you may think that I'm bad because I blackmail Freddy. I'm not bad. I just do things to make my life easier. It's that simple. So, instead of keeping my mouth shut, I went to Chica and told the whole story about her cupcake. She was surprised. In exchange for this information she owes me one, just like Freddy does. I don't know what's going to happen, but it won't be good for Freddy, that's sure. Don't steal my cupcake again. Couple. Really, I'm not joking. But, who knows, something has changed. You may think the attraction was softened. But I truly know it's a false belief. I wanted her more than anyone, spiritually and physically. But maybe the time? Maybe we got tired of each other? Maybe God doesn't want such a loser like me to be with a beautiful girl like Tlachika? Or is it only fate? Nobody knows. But I know one thing. My life changed that day, forever. Hey, 
Hey, do you know where to torch I could go? She said she'll be waiting for you at the generator downstairs. I bet she wants some fun, if you know what I mean. Oh, I hope so. Man, she is just so good looking, isn't she? Do you really want to know my opinion? Yeah, you are my best friend, dude. You are so fucking lucky to have a girlfriend like her. I know. See you soon, mate. Write me instantly, after you've finished. Hi, honey. Hi. Is everything okay? I'm not sure. Maybe I know how could we change your mood. No, Foxy. Fucking no. What's wrong, my love? I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. What? Yes. Things changed, Foxy. You must be joking. Is today the first of April? No, Foxy. I'm telling you what I think and feel. I want to break up. What's the reason? Think and you'll find out. Maybe not now, but in the future. Honey, you can't just leave me alone. Not now. Yes, I can. And I'm doing it. What? It's over, Foxy. Goodbye. I hope you'll find the perfect one. Hi, Foxy. What's going on? Just one. Still toy chicka? Yes. I'm sure you're gonna be able to forget her. It is just impossible. I don't even know why we broke up. What? What's wrong? Don't you remember? What are you talking about? Don't you remember what have you done to toy chicka? No, I guess. You nearly raped her, you fucking idiot. Me? We were having a party, when you started to drink with Freddy and Bonnie. You got drunk so much, that you hit Toy Chica. Then you wanted to take her to the bed, aggressively. I hardly stopped you, and you were asking for forgiveness. Toy Chica forgave, even though I didn't. We have promised we won't talk about this in the future, but we thought you remember. How could I? I was totally drunk, wasn't I? You were. But still, Foxy. You are no longer a man. I guess it's late now to say sorry. It is. Now I hope you know what caused the breakup. Now I know. Thank you for telling me this. Go to hell, Foxy. How could you do this to her? I did. Don't answer. It was a lesson for a lifetime. Think before you do something stupid again. Have a nice day. This lesson hurts. I can't forget it or change it back. It happened. Mangle was right, I'm not a man anymore. Not even someone with human feelings. There's a monster inside me, what I hope won't annex me. Or it did already? I don't know anything. This was my story. I hope everyone will learn from it. Or if they won't, at least I did. Think I haven't told you about my job in the past, guys. Let me share my memories with you. Number 343, please go to the director's room, thanks. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Don't waste each other's time, let's get to the point. Alright, so the reason I came here is- You would like to get a job here as a surgeon. Yes, and I've passed all of the tests and proved to be appropriate. I know all of these toughs. Just answer me one question, are you afraid of losing someone by your own mistake? No sir. I take the burden myself in any case. Tomorrow morning, 6.30, in room 522. You are hired. Thank you sir, I can't describe how- Don't waste my time. Have a great day sir. Relax, it won't hurt. And... We're done. It didn't hurt, did it? No. Thanks, Doctor. You're welcome. Have a nice day. There are no more patients, Doctor. 
Alright, have a nice day guys. See you tomorrow. Oh Jimmy, don't forget to take a day off. You have been working so much this month. Thank you. Everything worked well. Really. I love my job and it gave me strength every time I cured someone. My life was beautiful. Until one day. Alright guys, let's start it. What's up? Spine surgery. Poor guy. Let's get it done. Give me the knife. Doctor, how is it going? Not so well. Put this crap back. Give me a new one. One second. Now. You'll be dead if you don't do what I say. Here is it. Pulse. It dwindles extremely fast. Get a freaking scalpel. I said give me a scalpel. It's too late, doctor. What are you talking about? Zero pulse. I'll be back in a few minutes. I think my head is hurting a bit. He's dead. Because of my fault. What will I say to the relatives? Are you afraid of losing someone by your own mistake? Actually, I am. That's the sad truth. He is alive, right? I'm sorry. It was the worst feeling I've ever experienced. I killed someone. You could ask now, did you go back to the hospital? My answer is simple. No. I left my job. People were saying I'm a great person and an awesome doctor. Well... I think it's a false belief. Hi honey, what's up? I'm bored so much. With you? Nothing special. Why don't you hang out with Foxy? He's still way too depressed. That's true. He can't forget to check her, can he? Not really. What could we do? In my opinion, the only way is getting back Toy Chica for him. We both know this is just impossible. We should give it a try. How? I guess I have an idea. I'm listening. We should organize an event where everyone would write a letter to someone, but without names. Are you sure we can carry it out? I'm not. But Foxy is my best friend and I don't want to let him down. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Alright dude. Have a great day. Hi honey. Hi dear. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Have you seen those papers on the walls? Oh, well, we put them there with honey. Why? We want to help Foxy. You know his mood isn't the best. Yes, of course. Losing Toy Chica is not a thing you can just skip. As you say, and even though Foxy made an enormous mistake, he can get a second chance. And you really think he'll have the courage to write a letter to Toy Chica? It seems like he's given it up already. He would never give up if it's about Toy Chica. So yes, we think so. We'll see. Who will you write your letter to? Surprise, honey. So we got all the letters. Let's see, 11 letters. I'm gonna read all of them, and the person who thinks the letter is written to have to come to the stage. So let's start. Holy crap, the first letter is written by Foxy. Well, I'm curious about Toy Chica's reaction. First letter, written by Foxy. Only one sentence. Can I, I get, get a second, second chance? chance? That's all. Well, who is the addressee of it? Nobody. Then let's skip to the- It is written to me. And what is your answer? 